Nuclear transformation is the change of one element into another, which involves a change in nuclear composition. Alchemists tried to do this when they tried to change lead and copper into silver and gold, but they failed. However, Ernest Rutherford succeeded when he bombarded nitrogen-14 with alpha particles to produce oxygen-17. The equation for this two-step nuclear transformation is shown. And since then, they can now synthesize hundreds of radioisotopes, including those larger than uranium, the heaviest natural occurring element. Synthetically produced elements with an atomic number above uranium, that is 92, are known as transuranic elements. So how are these produced? Since nuclear chemistry is about reactions involving the nucleus, logically all we need to do is change the size of the nucleus of the atom. Now this is achieved by bombarding the target nucleus with a charged particle, such as the nuclei of other small elements like helium, boron, carbon, oxygen and neon. Now these particles must be accelerated at super high speeds to overcome the electrostatic repulsion between the two. And this is done in a particle accelerator and there are three types. There's the linear accelerators, which are favored for the production of high energy electrons, which are used for radiation therapy and basic physics research. Now, there may be lengths up to about three kilometers. There's cyclotrons, which take up less space because the charged particles are accelerated in a spiral path. ANSO uses this for the production of radioisotopes for medical use. And there are synchrotrons, which are primarily used for the research into the composition and properties of materials and can accelerate protons to the speed of about 90% of the speed of light. Another way of producing radioisotopes is by neutron-induced transmutation. Because neutrons have no charge, there is no electrostatic repulsion, so super high speeds aren't necessary and are readily absorbed by the target nucleus. So where do these neutrons actually come from? Well, ANSTO at Lucas Heights sells them for cheap. They have a nuclear fusion reactor which makes them readily available. For example, um, cobalt-60, which is an important medical radioisotope which is produced in three steps. This begins with the bombardment of iron-58 with neutrons to form iron-59, followed by the emission of a particle to form cobalt-59. This then absorbs the neutron to form cobalt-60.